Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna to be going over solving a trigonometric equation, given some information. So you're told that cosecant theta is equal to the ratio 17 over eight, and then you're also told that theta is between pi and pi over two. So this is telling me where my triangle exists, where triangle lives, okay? So pi and pi over two, if I think of the coordinate plane, I'll do this really quick, I think of the coordinate plane, this is pi, and this is pi over two. So that means I'm drawing a triangle in quadrant two. Remembering that theta means you're finding the angle, and theta always is the, relation, is the angle created with the x-axis and the terminal side of the angle. All right, so cosecant we know is the reciprocal to sine. So I'm gonna do that sine theta then is eight over 17. That helps me label the sides of my triangle. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so opposite hypotenuse. I'm hoping this point you know that you have to find the third side. Now remember you could use the Pythagorean theorem, but this is a really nice 8, 15, 17 Pythagorean triple. So then this side would be 15. Now you don't like to label sides of triangles negative, but because that x value in quadrant 2 is negative, I'm going to put a negative there to help me. Um, <clears throat> so, now I have everything I need to find cotangent theta. So, I like to do this using the reciprocal just because it's easier for me. Tangent theta, we know, is opposite over adjacent. Um, so, cotangent theta is going to be adjacent over opposite. So, adjacent to theta is next to right here. So, negative 15. So cotangent theta equals negative 15 over opposite, which would be eight. And so cotangent theta is negative 15 over eight. And that's basically how you solve these basic trig equations. Let's try another one. So we're now saying that sine theta equals 0.2 um, and theta is between 90 and 180. So in, instead of being in radians, now we're in degrees. So theta is between 90 and 180. So I'm actually in quadrant two again, right? Because here's eight, 180. And here's 90. So I go ahead and draw my triangle. And I put in my theta. Okay, sine, we know of theta is always the opposite over the hypotenuse. But it might be tricky for you because this says 0 0.2. It can be a decimal. A ratio is a decimal. But I would probably write that as a fraction. So um, 0 0.2 is 1 fifth, right? Um, so, you know, if I'm going to do that, so now I've got my opposite 1, my hypotenuse 5. Let me just make sure. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to find my third side. So I'm going to label that x. And now I you do have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So x squared plus 1 squared equals 5 squared. So x squared plus 1 equals 25 x um, squared equals 24, and I take the square root of both sides. So x equals root 24, but I simplify that to um, 4 and 6, so 2 root 6. So x is 2 root 6. All right, so now I have everything I need. Actually, in this case, it was asking me to determine theta. Um, so I actually didn't even need to do that because I had enough to determine theta. Um, sine in quadrant two is positive. Um, all students take calculus, so I know the angle, um, so the sine is positive. And um, I'm gonna do the inverse sine on my calculator. I'm gonna make sure that my calculator is in degree mode. So I'm gonna press mode, and I'm gonna make sure that at line three it says degree. So I'm gonna do second, I'm gonna do inverse sine point two. And I'm going to get um, 11.53, okay? So that tells me that this is 11.53 degrees. But theta is actually the terminal side, so we want this. So we would do 180 minus 11.3, 11.53 um, and 180 minus 11.53. That gives me 168 degrees. 
because remember this is the reference this is like the reference angle that we're using when we're talking about where the triangle's terminal side lies you start in standard position and you go towards the hypotenuse of the triangle all right hopefully that helped have a great day